Hello, this is Nikki and this is baby Matthew. I'll give you a better shot of him later. But uh, so this is my birth story. Um, I was going to do a 38 week update um, on my pregnancy on Wednesday um, of last week. Uh, I would have been 38 weeks and five days because I saw the doctor the day before that late in the afternoon and I thought I'll just do the update the next day um, but that turned out to be the day that he was born so I um, was already two to three centimeters dilated at my appointment on the Tuesday and um, the doctor wasn't gonna say oh yeah it's gonna happen straight away but um, she said, yeah, two, two to three centimetres um, and that it would probably be fairly soon. So anyway, I got home from that and I was actually, well, she said that if I continued having like all the contractions and stuff that I'd been having, then, then it would be fairly soon, like, because that was obviously what had been uh, opening me up. So that night I was having a fair number of contractions. I'm thinking, okay, so <laughs> I guess I'll be opening up a, a bit more and, and ready to to have him. But I, I certainly didn't think I was going to have him the next day. But um, so I woke up. Well, the, the contractions that I had been having um, the Tuesday night, I didn't think, you know, this was labour or anything. It was just the same sort of ones that I'd been having in the weeks before. Um, but then... I had a contraction that was obviously strong enough to wake me up um, at 2.30 in the morning um, on the Wednesday. And then I didn't have any more for another hour, but I couldn't get back to sleep anyway. Um, so I had another one about 3.30 and then it was every half an hour until about 5. And then pretty quickly they started getting quite close together so you know it was 15, 12, 8. By the time Vince woke up to go to work um, which he gets up fairly early so it would have been before six o'clock um, he I, I was having contractions about seven minutes apart and I said to him um, I'm not sure if this is actually it but you might want to think about the possibility that you're not going to work today and anyway he got up to get ready for work just in case it wasn't it so he had his shower and um, and then I went in after him just to see if having a hot shower would, you know, if, if, if it was going to calm anything down and if the contractions were going to go away if it wasn't it. Um, but the, they just kept coming. So by the time I was in the shower, they were about four minutes apart. Um, but they weren't, they weren't really lasting longer than 30 seconds. Um, and... When I got out of the shower, they were probably about three and a half minutes apart, and by about eight o'clock, they were probably lasting about 45, 40 to 45 seconds, um, still about three and a half minutes apart, and, but the intensity of the pain was enough that I said, okay, Vince, you better wake up, Elara, um, we're going to the hospital. So we had her ready within half an hour, and we left home at 8.30, and I still didn't think I was that close to to actually giving birth, um, like because I knew we would have to drive via my friend's place to drop off Alara um, to the hospital in peak hour traffic. So um, we got to my friend's place probably just before nine, dropped off Alara, and then went to the hospital. And by the time. I was admitted it was probably about quarter past nine. Um, they took me into like the little room to check and see whether you are actually in labour and um, monitor you before you go to the delivery room. And they were going to put a CTG on me and, and see how things were going. And then they said, oh, how far apart are your contractions? Well, that stayed there about two minutes apart. Um, and so that was uh, my parents who are over visiting from Australia to help out with Elara. Um, they just got back from their walk. Anyway, where was I? Um, I think I was saying, yeah, I was in the little pre-check room and they wanted to do a CTG and um, that 
and they asked how far apart are your contractions? I said, oh, they're about two minutes now. And um, they said, oh, okay, we're going to do an internal straight away to see how far along you are. <laughs> and so they did, and I was seven to eight centimeters already. And they said, we're sending you up to the delivery room right now. <laughs> so um, they put me in a chair and took me upstairs and um, by the time I got up to the delivery room they're like okay well you know get undressed again and um, we'll check you again so I was already nine centimeters then meanwhile Vince is parking the car and he um, came again when I was yeah well, about that point like just after I got to the delivery room and I said oh is it too late for an epidural because <laughs> um, I'd had one with Alara and I don't know, it was just, it was really nice not to be able to feel the pain of the pushing. Um, and they said, well, it could all be fairly quick if you just wanted to wait, you know, a little bit and then push straight away. But if you had the epidural, well, you'd have to wait a little bit before you could uh, give birth. And I said, no, I want it. So they came in and they took ages actually putting the thing in because they couldn't find the right spot. They must have stabbed me about 10 times. Um, yeah, sort of a less pleasant experience than my first one, but anyway, um, and then it didn't work in the end properly, like my right side was pretty numb, but my left side I could still feel completely, so I still felt the contractions at the end and still felt pushing him out, so um, yeah, anyway, so I was at the hospital at about quarter past nine, and <coughs> excuse me, and I had him at 10.09. So it turns out that uh, we got there kind of just in time. Um, yeah, so it all went quite a bit faster. I wasn't expecting it to go quite that fast, um, particularly because I'd had such a long labor with Alara. And yeah, so if I count from, you know, 2.30 in the morning, even though the first contractions were, you know, more than 30 minutes apart, that sort of thing. If I count from then, it would have been seven and a half hours only that I was in labour. So, um, yeah, that's quite a bit better than uh, than with Alara. So, um, yeah, and then everything went fairly well. Um, it was he was out within two minutes of pushing. So, even though he had been estimated to be um, pretty, well, not like overly big or anything, his, the, the, the weight estimation was, um, you know, that, that he was going to be fairly big and I think the doctor was a bit worried because of my size in general, um, that I might have trouble pushing him out, but I didn't have any trouble at all, so, um, he was, uh, 3.63 kilos, which is 8 pounds exactly, and his head circumference was 34.5 centimetres. I do not know what that is in inches, but it is, I think, just average, like maybe slightly a bit above the exactly on average. And he was 49.5 centimetres long, which is slightly tiny, tiny bit just below whatever the average is. Um, so he was not quite as long as I was expecting him to be either, and his head wasn't as big as I um, had been led to believe, so that was that was uh, lucky. So yeah, and he's doing really well, he eats really well, I have a overabundant milk supply, and um, he was putting on weight by the third day out of hospital, um, so that's when I went home, and... Um, yeah, he's a good little boy. He just sleeps a lot. <laughs> um, the only time he really fusses is he kind of had... He, he's a baby that needs to burp after he eats. Um, Alara never really needed to, but this this one definitely does. And in the first few days, he was doing a lot of spit-up regurgitating. Um, I think now he's kind of getting used to regulating how much milk he actually drinks and so the spitting up has quite decreased quite a bit um, from probably last night and this morning. Um, we had quite a few, well apart from the first couple of days when they're sleepy anyway, had 
a few rough nights where he just wanted to cluster feed and not settle and um, and then it'd be really good during the day but the nights were kind of hard and then last night he gave us a reasonably good night um, just woke up three times and two out of the three times he just went back to sleep afterwards um, so yeah he's doing pretty well and well, the other reason he cries, he, he absolutely hates having his nappy changed um, and I don't think he likes having baths either. It seems like he doesn't like being wet or, you know, having his uh, bottom wiped or anything. So, yeah, otherwise you're just a content little baby and you like to sleep a lot. And so I'll hold him up now. Oh. You turn around and look at the camera. Say hello to the people. Say hello. <laughs> so, yep, that is my story. Um, so, yeah, it was, I think I mentioned the date, it was the 10th of April, and I was 38 uh, weeks and five days. So, he's now six days old. And, yeah, my, oh, my, um, because I said my parents came. They had been planning all along to come on the 11th of April, so uh, Matthew decided to arrive just one day before that. <laughs> um, they, my parents were meant to be looking after Alara while I was in the hospital and everything. Um, and so it ended up that I had to drop her off to my friend just for the, for the day, and then um, the next day my parents were around and, and uh, could meet little Matthew and look after his sister. So yeah, that's about it. That is my birth story and I'll come and talk to you again for uh, some little updates on me and him. Bye.